2014, uh, when the news broke about the abduction of 276 schoolgirls up north, uh, it was the first in the series of dastardly abductions uh, that has plagued Nigeria. Uh, it was a very sad news. Uh, it was it was first of its kind, and the mood of the the nation was really, I mean, was one of anger and sadness. I could feel it. It was palpable. Um, at this point, I knew I couldn't do so much about it, but I knew what I could do was say something about it or express how I felt. Um, and how a lot of people around me felt. This picture and um, a few in the series are a product of my expression during this time. It was a two-year period. Uh, and just like me, I feel like there are a lot of people uh, in this hall watching online around you uh, that have something to say. They have a point to, to, to express. They have... Uh, a message to get across, but we all struggle with the mode of expression. Growing up as the first of uh, four children, I was always very expressive. I was very outspoken. But by the time I was five or six years old, uh, I started getting withdrawn. Um, this led to me growing up as an introvert. I, I had so much to say, but then sometimes... I just overthink the weight of my words and the impact of the words and end up not saying them at all and keeping to myself. Uh, this made me an introvert. I grew up uh, loving the sound of my own silence. And in 2012, I, photography found me, I would say that, and it changed the, my social disposition uh, and the mode of my expression. I found just, not just a means of survival, uh, I found a means to express myself. In 2020, it's approximated that about 1.12 trillion pictures were created. And in 2021, it's going to grow to about 1.4 trillion pictures. Now, if you have to choose photography as your means of expression, that means you have to do an extra, you have to do so much more to make sure that your own expression is not lost in a sea of image and imagery. So how then do you do that? First, your story starts with your passion and you can only inspire when you yourself are inspired. Uh, what do you want to communicate? What do you want to say with your pictures? For me, over the years, I found that a few themes keep reoccurring in my work. Uh, I found that a few things keep inspiring me to, to express myself. Uh, themes like solitude, themes like freedom, themes like beauty, fashion, uh, themes like purity. Uh, keeps reoccurring in my work, and these things actually inspire me to express myself and say more with my expressions. I, I celebrate women a lot with my work, and it, it's a thread that cuts across all my expressions. You can see a spirited woman rooted in culture, energetic, resilient, strong, and showing off a lot of emotion. You can also see a woman that is rooted in a culture, uh, basking in nature, this purity, what I mean, purity. Um, and she's proud of her skin. She's beautiful. Uh, you can see this image that was created during the height of the lockdown encapsulated how a lot of us felt. Uh, we felt like hurt was actually healed and it needs, we need healing. We need the world to heal. And this encapsulated my message uh, in this expression. Uh, if we see what's happening in the society, 
we can see a lot of uh, the society that, um, that really favors you not speaking up, uh, that really tries to suppress uh, your ideas, to suppress your mode of expression. And we see someone that is still looking out in hope to be able to express herself, even though she's been gagged. Uh, we see a fight for survival. We see a fight for self-expression. Uh, we see someone walking towards, I mean, freedom. There's, there's, there's happiness. Uh, there's, there's joy. There's nature in this. You can see a thread that ties uh, uh, across. We can see someone dancing. We can see a lot of culture in this. We could see celebration. We could see freedom. We could see emotions in this. We could see history in some part of it too. Uh, although this is a silhouette, you can actually feel the beauty and the richness coming out of this picture. You can feel the solitude and you can still see the strength of character in the main actor in this picture. So why should you choose photography as your means for expression? Number one, communication. Uh, you've heard the saying, a photograph is worth a thousand words. And this is true for well-crafted photos. Uh, so you can express yourself, you can get a point across, you can communicate using pictures. Number two is storytelling. Um, photographs, a, photography is a great tool for storytelling. Uh, case in point, when I was younger, I had this book named uh, my book of Bible stories. And I've never seen Goliath before, but I still have a vivid picture of what Goliath looks like because of the depiction, the pictorial depiction in this book of Bible stories. So photography is a great tool, great tool for telling stories. Uh, photography is, good, is a good tool for education. So you can use photography to educate. You can use photography to inspire. You can use photography to inform. This picture is from a local government in, uh, in, in Plateau State. And these guys have to wake up as early as 6 in the morning and go in search of water for their daily needs. So this guy, they travel miles and miles. You can see the effect of de deforestation, loss of water, and so many things. You can be informed through photography. Photography can be a tool for advocacy. Uh, you can use photography to demand change. Uh, whenever there's an uprising, uh, case in point, the last answers, uh, activities or protests that happened in, in around Nigeria, you can see a lot of first elements that come out of these activities are pictures, are pictures that signify the struggle and pictures that actually exemplify uh, and engender change. Lastly, you can use photography to document history. History is what we've witnessed in the past two years, where five years ago, if you tell me everybody will be wearing masks uh, up and down, to, I mean, if masks will become a prerequisite for admission in some places, I would have said no. But we're living through an historic time, whereas in five years, ten years to come, we might not need to wear masks again. But now we're able to document the fact that at this point in time, we're wearing masks. So, in conclusion, photography is a great tool to tell stories. So whatever it is that you do, or whatever it is that you're passionate about, why don't you share your passion with the world through your photographs? Thank you very much.